All right, YouTube, so today I'm gonna show y'all how to install a um, license plate bracket on the 88, probably through a 98 C1500 OBS. Um, it might be different for y'all, but this is how I did it. And Boy, if you don't link all the parts down in the description. So, let me show y'all was, oh, let me show y'all the screws. So I got these on Amazon. I guess if y'all wanna read that, y'all can go ahead and look that up on Amazon. But this is what they look like. Bugs. Happened so on that Thursday like. here at Augusta High School that and, uh, led these to Chris right Woods' death. Too big for the, the fuck is that? For the original yeah. holes that are in the um I'm in the bumper. Dying this so what I went ahead and did is I just got to step down. in and I drilled them out just a little bit, and then these snug in there real, real, real tight. And so that's what I did. I'm sorry I didn't get that on video, but um, at least I show you how to do it. And so, yeah, just get you a step bit, drill these out just a little bit. Don't overdo it. Just enough to where that'll still fit in there real tight. And uh, this is the bracket that I got. And if I can, I'm going to show y'all me putting it on. If not, you're just going to see it on there. And so, yeah, I'll link this down in the description below. And uh, see it in this light on there. Oh, and I think that bracket right there was probably like 15, 20 bucks, and then the screws were like seven. But like I said, I'll, I'll link everything in the description below. So these are, I think, 732s or 38s. Let me look. No, these are, th this is, these are 3 8 uh, drives. So, yeah, the, the, they fit right in there. So they just kind of clip in. I'm not gonna show y'all my license plate because uh, I don't want crazy people to know where I live. But yeah, you put your license plate on there and these these pop right into place. And if I was y'all, I'd get you two. Get you two of these. It comes with the plastic clips and the screws, but get you two. One to put the license plate bracket on and then one to put your actual license plate on. But I just wanted to share that with y'all. And uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much the end result. Hope it helped y'all and, you know, like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. There's a couple of things I wanted to show y'all. One was the original rims that were on here. They were mixed match, as you can see. So I'm about to show y'all the rims. And here's another thing. There's this little black piece right here that goes on top of the antenna. And uh, I think somebody on YouTube, maybe maybe the OBS people can help me out. Because they said that there's a little a nut or something like that that goes on top of there. And I'm not sure where to get it or where to find it. I have this black piece. I don't know if the antenna just screws on and holds it down, but if y'all could help me find that in the comments or whatever, I'd appreciate that. But uh, I'm gonna show y'all the truck and the new rims that I got on it. So like I said in the last clip, these are the new rims. That's the truck itself. It's not the best, I know, but I mean, it's mine, it's my work truck. I just wanted to uh, document my journey, fixing it up and things like that. There's the antenna. So yeah, these were the original rims. You can see they were mismatched. Funny story on how about on how I got these rims. I was at a customer's house and I tried to buy them off him. He told me I could have them. He said he's been trying to get rid of them and nobody actually came to pick them up. I said, I'll take them off your hands right now. And sure enough, here they are. They fit good. Yeah, it's a cool little backstory on how I got the rims.